here's my old 84 Chevy K20 and I'm gonna be replacing this rigged up old quadrajet the secondaries are missing their linkages and it's got assorted other issues gonna be swapping in an Edelbrock 1406 it's got an electric choke and it's a four barrel this came off of an El Camino I used to own. I rebuilt this about 10 years ago, shortly before pulling it off the car. It's been stored ever since, but I think it's in pretty good shape. I did a little disassembly and checked it out last night, a little bit of cleanup inside. I did purchase this adapter plate that adapts uh, this carburetor to fit on a stock Quadrajet manifold. So. This is going to come in handy and make sure things seal up nicely. The front of the carburetor has a 5 8 inch fuel line fitting that needs to come off. The back of the carburetor has another 5 8 fitting, which is for the vacuum line to the brake booster. Up front here, my PCV line comes off the front, and my vacuum line for the uh, distributor vacuum advance comes off. The throttle cable has this little clip that comes off just like that. I'll disconnect my throttle return spring. You can see this one's been kind of rigged. And now I've just got these four half inch bolts to take out, one on each corner. The ones in the back are down at a lower level than the ones up front. And if I've got everything disconnected, should be loose and come off. Comparing the Edelbrock to the Quadrajet, things are very similar. Uh, we've got the PCV connector right up front here. The vacuum advance is in pretty much the same spot. On the back side, here's for the brake booster. Same deal over here, brake booster. One of the biggest differences I noticed is the Quadrajet, the fuel line, is a metal line that threads and screws right into the front, and the fuel filter resides in here. It's a little cartridge compared to the Edelbrock, the fuel inlet is on the rear side and it's for a rubber hose to go over and I'll be using an external inline fuel filter right here. I also bought this kit which is a throttle cable adapter. This will help me hook up my stock throttle cable to the Edelbrock carburetor. You saw how the throttle cable went over this little stud here with a clip on it. Well, the Edelbrock doesn't have that, and that's where the throttle cable adapter kit comes in, and I'm taking that that bolts right there to give me a similar hookup as that, except for it uses a little cotter pin instead of the sheet metal clip. I just installed the little throttle cable adapter, and I used some Loctite on it and just snugged it down. I heard that these are actually pretty weak and strip out easily. I used a three-quarter inch wrench to loosen this fitting for my brake booster and I'm going to swap this right over, same place on the Edelbrock, right on the back of the carburetor. This adapter kit included a couple gaskets, mounting hardware, and this adapter. You can see one side has four holes that are about the same size and the other side has four holes. These front two are smaller than the rear. This is what the Quadrajet looks like. So this goes down against the intake, like that. Small holes up front, and then the Edelbrock will mount right up here with this being the front. Back out to the truck here, I've made sure my intake is as clean as it deserves to be. And then here's the little gasket that came with my adapter kit. And then the adapter itself. And it came with four screws for mounting it. The fact that these are screws with a Phillips or a flathead makes it kind of awkward, but I'll be sure that I tighten those down 
respectively. Nice and shiny. Doesn't quite fit in, does it? The adapter kit came with these studs. And finally, gasket. I had a little bit of trouble getting that to seat on those studs. Seems like the adapter plate holes weren't drilled in perfect alignment to this carburetor. Then again, they were probably made 10 years apart. But on this front hole of the carburetor, I just drilled it out just a hair larger and everything went together. Now I'm going ahead and installing these washers and half inch nuts on each corner of the adapter to hold the carburetor down. And this carburetor has an electric choke with two wires, a positive 12 volts from ignition and a separate ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and I made a pigtail wire. I'm gonna try to steal a ground right here from this mounting bolt. Back on the other side here, the throttle cable seems to hitch right up there and there's a little cotter pin that goes in there. And here I'm hooking up my new throttle return spring. And on the back of the carburetor I need to hook up my brake booster vacuum line. This is a 5 8 inch fitting. Kind of hard to reach but not too bad. Now I have to deal with this fuel line the quadrajet threaded in up front. So I've got an inline fuel filter here and I'm going to go ahead and fit it on the Edelbrock up there. And that's going to come across. I'm going to cut this metal line and fit it up onto there. And there we go. Fuel filter installed. It is directional. It's labeled on each end so I've got it hooked up the right way. And my PCV line, I had to cut it and extend it with a piece of tubing in between to get it to reach about an extra inch over where to the um, over where the connector on the Edelbrock is. Other than that everything seems good. Got my positive 12 volts from ignition on there and I think I'm about ready to try it. One last thing for testing right now I'm gonna plug this vacuum line for the distributors vacuum advance. Well there it is installed hooked up I haven't done any adjustments on it yet. I guess I'm just going to try cranking it over and see what happens. Well, that sounds good. sounds really good. Whoops. Well, I found the problem. During troubleshooting this truck, I thought I might have a clogged fuel system, so I ran a temporary rubber line from the pump to here. And, well, I didn't have the hose in the tank. So, let's give that a shot. See if we can plow some snow.
happy so far. I wasn't able to do that with the old uh, worn out quadrajet that was missing parts. The truck would just die on me. And uh, let's uh, shut it off and see if it'll start right back up. Wow. This may be... This may be a beat up old rusty piece of crap truck, but I tell you, I'm so happy that I can plow my yard again, and uh, hopefully it'll be reliable. There you go. That was the Quadrajet to Edelbrock installation. Hope this helps some of you. I don't consider myself an expert at all on carburetors, but this went pretty darn easy. Take care. Thanks for watching. Be safe.